Okay, so now let's roll. Uh, I'm gonna plot here, right? And then I can, um, there's something which I created now. So I can click on that, okay? And now what I would want uh, to do is uh, that uh, typically, uh, so typically this is a scene that I created. This is a text plate, right? So typically I can uh, just click on this and the text plate appears here. So that is how you can even uh, move it around. You can move it around. Uh, so um, wait, hold on. If you just uh, type anything, meeting with uh, the headmaster or something like that, right? Uh, you can just uh, move this around. That is what I was telling you, right? Cool. So uh, typically like that I have one here, right? And uh, I can uh, add a music. So typically I've added a music here, some music that I want. Uh, some good music that I would want uh, so even uh, you can click on get more music and download more music right I can just close this right now okay and then I can just um, head over and uh, choose a background for the scene so typically I choose a headmaster office so now I want to choose something else uh, so typically I would want to choose um, hold on hold on there are so many backgrounds here uh, so let me just uh, look at a great background Mm, presidential address okay that's fine there is a cabinet there is a convention booth there is a bus stop mm, okay there is I want something like similar to those um, college ones like that the scenes I had there right something like that uh, but uh, anyways let me choose an airplane and change this a little bit I would also would want to do that or a lift also would be an ideal scenario okay anyways lift lift okay Meaning the headmaster in the lift of the college. Uh, okay, lift that is there in the college. Anyways, so the camera is in an establishing shot. Jessica is to the left of the doors, right? Uh, Paul, this is not Paul. I want uh, our character, Larry, to be here. Uh, to the right of the door, right? Okay, he looks young, but he's still a headmaster, I believe. Anyways, uh, so the camera is in dialogue mode. Okay, now uh, what happens is Larry... Um, now, uh, this then I have to change the Paul thing to Larry because I remember I had created one for Paul, so I'll have to make this Larry. All right, hold on. So let me just make a Larry. Okay, that's fine. So you can just um, use Larry uh, there, right? All this is uh, the for you have to use dialogue and then you can use whatever you want. First thing is you got to choose a scene. You understood, right? So typically, when you after the music starts playing, you can choose a scene, and the scene can be somewhere, right? And then you can, uh, if you do not want the scene, you can delete it because we already have the scene here. And uh, the camera is an establishing shot or a skipping establishing shot that you can decide depending on the camera movements, right? And Jessica, this Jessica is this character. You can have different characters also here, right? If you don't want Jessica, I can use, uh, still I can use a robot here. Uh, so maybe the robot says I graduated. That'll be very funny. Let me try that out. So there is a robot here, right? And then it's to the left of the doors. Or uh, you can choose it next to the buttons. Oh, that seems to be the ideal, ideal stuff uh, to have this, right? Mm, okay, then Larry is here to the right of the doors. Now, Larry looks a little, little disappointed or he is lo just looking something. What is happening? Not disappointed, but something like what is going to happen with the robot. Anyways, and Larry is going to talk now. He's in dialogue mode, right? So, we can type the text that you want, okay? Congress and graduating robot, Mr. Robot. Right? Uh, we are proud to have you as our college student. Right? That's amazing. Let's see. Um, now then the crowd. Uh, we can have sound effects, right? So typically, how do I get that? Click on the sound to have the sound effects to the stage. So you can choose a kind of sound effect that you want. Maybe it's a, a wolf howling, or you can have a thunder if you want. Let, let the thunder come in and let the crowd cheering uh, effect come in. Alright? That'll be pretty cool. You can move this around. Always remember, you can move this around. Awesome. So now the thunder is heard. Then there is crowd cheering effect. Then uh, Jessica. Jessica is not there. Now this uh, Android male. So I'll have to change this character to Android male. Right. I'll have to change this character. Pretty good. Now uh, this is male. It's happy. That's fine. Mm, so let's see what happens now. Okay. Let's. Uh, you can type whatever you want. It's a pleasure, sir. I have one more question, though. Uh, I'm, a, I'm just a robot. I'm just a robot asking questions. You can type whatever you want, the robot is going to answer. Don't worry, I'll play this and I'll show you. So ask me anything I'm willing to answer, Mr. Robot. You can type whatever you want there, right? And then, did you graduate from our college only, sir? Uh, no, I did not. So, Robot asked this guy, saying that, did you graduate from our college? No, I did not, Larry says. Right, why is that so? Why are you asking me personal questions? He's very angry, right? And, uh, sorry, sir. So, let me have a dialogue here. Let me have Android mail here and say, sorry. Sir, I was just kidding, right? And here you can, uh, you see this neutral uh, thing over here. You can just click on that, and you can make it uh, smug, 
or you can just make it um, something like uh, you know say happy or kidding or something like that. There's something called happy, right? So I'll make a happy sigh. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's like uh, sorry, Sarah, just kidding, right? Amazing. So now this um, this is a, a very very subtle robot, right? Uh, so Larry's angry, and then the robot says, "I'm just kidding." Okay, cool. And you can change the emotion. So Larry is neutral here. Uh, then you can make him uh, looking around to see um, anybody's there, right? Looking around. He just looks around here and there, right? And then you can have the robot saying, did you graduate from a college only, sir? Or something. So this is a making up a movie or something, right? And always you have to click on the subtitles. The subtitles will be on. This is a T icon that you see over here, right? That is a subtitle, right? Now I'm going, even the GIF icon will help you too. Create a GIF from that particular um, scene or something like that. But anyways, and save it somewhere. You can save that GIF. I, uh, GIF uh, once you click on that, you can save it somewhere as a GIF file. But anyways, now let's play how the movie is sounding like. Right? Uh, let me just click on this full screen button over here. Okay. And now let me play the movie. Let's see how it comes. Meeting the headmaster. I want to change the title here. The title seems to be very, very kiddish. So I'll just say, uh, when Robo... Robot when Mr. Robot talks, that's gonna be the name of the movie. When Mr. Robot uh, speaks, uh, when the robot talks, Mr. Robot has a question. That seems to be a pe pretty much good um, good title. Whatever I think so. I think according to me, when Mr. Robot has a question, let's play the movie right now. When Mr. Robot has a question. Congratulations on graduating, Mr. Robot. We are proud to have you as our college student. It's a pleasure, sir. I have one question, though. I am just a robot asking questions. Oh, ask me anything. I am willing to answer, Mr. Robot. Did you graduate from our college only, sir? No, I did not. Why is that so? Why are you asking me personal questions? Sorry, sir. I was just kidding. Wow, now you just saw that that was an amazing, amazing movie. But the only thing that uh, got me here is this thunderstorm and the crowd cheering effect. Let's have it at the last. So typically, let, let's see how that works if it is in the last, right? Uh, so typically, let's not put it in the middle because it disrupts the scene, actually. It disrupts the sound effects. Now, let me, now let's see how it comes uh, till the last. So let's see that, that, that particular part that how it comes. Uh, because of, Yeah, let's see now. Congratulations on graduating, Mr. Robot. We are proud to have you as our college student. It's a pleasure, sir. I have one question, though. I am just a robot asking questions. Oh, ask me anything. I am willing to answer, Mr. Robot. Did you graduate from our college only, sir? No, I did not. Why is that so? Why are you asking me personal questions? Sorry, sir. I was just kidding. So that I, I didn't get the sound effect at the end, so maybe it, it would be, is this the effect? Maybe the sound effect uh, had to be, uh, I don't know what was the problem there. But anyways, uh, let me remove the sound effect then. Uh, the only problem I had was some some places, right? Uh, so this like, uh, sir, I have just one question though, it's a pleasure, yeah. We are proud, and then we can have a comma there. Once you have a comma, it'll sound a little different. Uh, if you play it now. Congratulations on graduating Mr. Robot. We are proud to have you as our college student. You saw that? You saw the emphasis here. This uh, character is, uh, the character Larry is giving on the word proud. So always use commas whenever necessary uh, to have a constant flow, right? To have, uh, pe uh, you know, say pe people who are, uh, you know, say... Uh, uh, who are emphasizing on certain 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 certain, certain words uh, where you can have the comma to help uh, you know uh, decrease that particular uh, speed that uh, people are talking about right awesome so that is how uh, now you have created this movie all you have to do to render this movie you just have to click on the render a video button Oh, that's it. That's it. And your movie will be rendered amazingly. Uh, to save it, you just click on the back button and it saves automatically, right? And in the next video, we'll look at how a single person character, right? A single person without any more characters, how you can create a green screen movie. And we'll look at how you can replace that movie using what softwares. Okay, in the next video. Thank you so much. Let's see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this amazing movie making experience. Yes, let's move on.